So today I'm going to talk about a topic that very few people actually ever think about in their life, and that is your relationship with money. And most people simply don't think about this topic in these terms, but just like with anything else, just like with food, with our possessions, with our family members, with people that we have relationship with, we have relationships with money. And these relationships, how we view them, the health or the weakness of these relationships can really make a huge difference over the course of our lifetime and in our financial health. And I have personally seen how vastly different people view money because with, with my work as a financial advisor, I see firsthand how people look at it, how they view it. And I have come to know why. Some people grew up with money. Some people grew up with nothing. Some people view it as survival. Some people view it as a way to gauge success. People view this thing, this neutral thing, as vastly different things and how valuable it can be in their life. But whenever we and our relationship with money becomes unhealthy, when we view it in an unhealthy way, we can see some unwanted consequences because we know that money is not everything. It is far from everything. It is merely a tool. I often tell people that there's our goals, right? The things that we are working toward, but money is not one of those, right? If you had a million dollars, but I said, hey, you can't touch any of it, it just sits in your bank, it'd be worth nothing. It's only viable in the context of our life and what we could use it for, whether it is just security of knowing it's there, but knowing that you can use it if needed, that brings value but it doesn't bring value just in itself. The paper is not valuable. It does not bring value to you in your life. It brings value when you put it in the context of your life and what you actually care about. And we have all heard the saying that money is the root of all evil, but I truly disagree with this statement because whether someone has money or doesn't have money doesn't necessarily mean anything about their ethics, about whether they're good or evil. I often say that money is a magnifying glass. That if when you're poor, you're happy. If you got more money, it would only make you happier. It will only magnify what you already are. If you are frustrated, if you are sad, money will only amplify those results. So if you are trying to get ahead, trying to earn more money, you have to realize that money will not affect you in the way that you might think. It will give you opportunities. It will give you things that you might not otherwise have, but you have to remember that there's limitations to what money can actually do for you. Now, one quote that I extremely agree with is that the love of money is the root of all evil. And I like to exchange the word love for obsession. When people are obsessed with money, then it truly ruins their life because they really put that above everything else, including their relationships and other people in their life, which only breathed unhappiness for their relationships, but also for themselves because it cannot bring lasting happiness. But the good news is when we're talking about our relationship with money is that regardless of what our upbringing was, regardless of where we came from, regardless of anything, we can choose to change it today. We can choose to say, hey, money has a role in my life, but it is not going to govern who I am and what I'm capable of. I will use it as a tool in my life to get to where I want to go. I will use it as a tool to help and lift others and not to really bring evil into the world and only for my own goodwill and my own goals. Once we use money to lift others, and of course we can use it to bring comfort to our own lives and the lives of our family members, and that's important, but we have to remember it won't bring happiness and we'll only be able to be a tool in our journey to financial freedom or to happiness, whatever your goals are, it is the tool to get there, but it can never be the goal itself. And I hope this video makes you think about your relationship with money. What in your childhood, in your adult life has shaped how you view it and how does it affect how you use money now and what you do to try to earn it? How do these things affect you and your life? It's valuable to think about this and to think about what you want it to be. If there's something we don't like about our relationship with money, we have to think, okay, what do I want it to be and how do I get it 
to that place. So again, I hope this is helpful. Hopefully this may, is provocative and making you think about what is truly important to you and in your life. And if you have any questions, comments, please put in the comments below and I will see you next week.